this demo, I'm going to go through the steps to create the dimension style that is shown in our ID CAD standards. And you can see all of the, the uh, specifics included in the CAD standards. There's screen grabs of each of the tabs to show you what the settings are, but sometimes it's helpful to also watch it being set up. So that's what we're going to do here. So let me go back into AutoCAD here. To get into the area where you can create or modify a dimension style, you want to go to the Annotate tab and then look for this dimension area. You're going to click on the arrow in the lower right hand corner and it's going to open the dimension style manager. We want to start with this annotative style that just comes in with the, the AutoCAD base drawing and we're going to click on new and create a new style. You can name it whatever you want, whatever's going to make sense to you. I'm going to just call mine AIO dim and I'm going to hit continue. Now I'm going to actually start at the symbols and arrows tab because there's a, a setting here that's going to affect what we do over here in the lines tab. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the arrow heads from close filled and I'm going to switch them to architectural tick. And I want to point out this preview window that's over here. As you make changes to the style, it shows you what's happening, so it, which is really handy so that you're sure that the changes that you're making are giving you the results that you want. So you can see now that it's changed the arrows to the ticks here. We're going to leave our leader arrow as a close filled. We're going to adjust our arrow size to 3 30 seconds of an inch. And uh, I think that's all we change on that one. We're going to go back over here to the lines now. And what we want to do is adjust the extend beyond ticks and set that to 3 30 seconds of an inch. We are going to adjust the baseline spacing and set that to 3 eighths of an inch. Whoops. Get that out of there. And then what we want to do is we want to um, we want to go to the extend beyond dim lines and set that to 3 30 seconds of an inch and leave our offset from origin at 1 16th of an inch. Now we're going to go over to the text tab. And in the text tab, you want to make sure that you've got your uh, text styles already set up so that you can just select the correct one. For dimensions, we use the, uh, the style that uses the font Stylus BT and is set at 3 30 seconds of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my pull down here and select my Stylus BT 3 30 second of an inch. Now you can see that the um, text height then becomes grayed out because I've already set the text height at 3 30 second in the text style. The next thing we're going to look at is the text placement. Now for the for the vertical placement we actually want right now the um, the text is kind of in the middle of the dimension line here. What we want to do is we want to set that to above. And you can see again it's changing that in the preview. The horizontal will leave as centered and the view direction will stay left to right. Now for the text alignment we want to change this from horizontal. You can see like for this vertical dimension the text is staying horizontal. We want to align it with the dimension line so that when you have an angled dimension or a vertical dimension it actually turns the text. So now let's go and look at the fit tab. For the fit tab we want to adjust this fit options to both text and arrows. We want to go text placement over the dimension line with a leader and then we're leaving that as annotative. And under fine tuning we want to draw a dim line between extension lines. Our next tab is going to be primary units and we want to adjust the unit format from decimal to architectural. And for the precision, for right now, we want to set it at zero inches. That's going to round everything off to the nearest inch. There may be uh, times, well, there will be times where you're going to need an additional precision. You may need to go to the half of an inch or to the quarter of an inch. And so you may have to create a new dimension style with a different level of precision if, in case you're drawing, for example, a detail where you need to show um, that uh, increment. So now what we want to do is go down here to the zero suppression and we want to leave the zero feet checked because we want to suppress that. We don't want it to say zero feet six inches, but we want to uncheck the zero inches because if we have a dimension like three feet and it's three feet even, we want it to say three feet dash zero inches. And then let's see, we're going to leave this at decimal degrees and everything else should be correct. 
We don't need to do anything with alternate units or tolerances at this point. Then we're just going to click OK and close. And now you've got your new dimension style. And you can see here up in the uh, dimension area, it is now your current dimension, dimension style. And you can change between dimension styles simply by clicking on this arrow and clicking which dimension style you want. Now I'm going to do a separate demo to show you how to place the dimensions and use the annotative feature, uh, but that's just a basic overview of how to set up the dimension style.